shit, they just found out who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, I'm going to talk about, of course, about Satoshi Nakamoto because HBO just said this person is Satoshi Nakamoto, we're going to talk about that, jump in some amazing Bitcoin charts again to show you where we are in the cycle, also what you should be doing at the moment, and in the inspirational quote, I'm going to answer the question, what is a real Bitcoiner? Let's jump into the first part, the news. Almost all the news today, guys, is about Satoshi Nakamoto. As HBO did a documentary, it came out. I watched it yesterday. It was a beautiful piece with Adam Beck, Peter Todd, Nick Zabo, and many others in this uh, beautiful industry, guys. Uh, but HBO came to the conclusion that Peter Todd Satoshi Nakamoto. It's a whole documentary that shows you why they think it. At the end, you even think, ha, huh, yeah, maybe he could be Satoshi Nakamoto, but in my honest opinion, I don't believe he is. I still believe that Satoshi Nakamoto was a group of people that just wanted to change the world. Yes, they were indeed crypto punks. They wanted to change the financial system after what they saw, and they just created collectively Bitcoin. Maybe there was one person with the idea that, of course, uh, came with the white paper, but all the others start to interact and start to build Bitcoin to what it is now. So. I don't think that it was Peter Todd, but who do you think that it is? And yes, of course, that HBO documentary um, shows in a pretty, pretty creative, sharp way that there is a case to say, yes, Peter Todd uh, is Satoshi Nakamoto, but I also could say that for Adam Beck, and I also could say that for Hal Finney, and I also could say that for Nick Zabo, and I also could say that for many others that already worked on the Bitcoin blockchain since the 70s, because just understand, Bitcoin was not just created in 2009. It was created all these decades long of all kinds of evolution of technology at the end ended up in Bitcoin. And yes, Hashcash that was created by, of course, by Adam Beck was one of the first ones uh, that was named in the white paper of Satoshi Nakamoto. So I think he was, of course, in contact with Satoshi. He also has the emails with Satoshi. And Peter Todd also has the emails with Satoshi. But when Bitcoin was created, Peter Todd was around 15 or 16 years. So yes, maybe it's possible. He was a genius. Maybe he created Bitcoin, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. Let me know what you think. Who do you think that Satoshi Nakamoto is? Did you see already the HBO series? Let me know what you think about this. Even if he is, or whoever it is, I don't think it matters anymore. Bitcoin was given to the community, is now completely decentralized, drew capital out of all the areas in, us in, in the world, from institutional investors, retail investors, governments, banks, all of them now own a piece of Bitcoin. So that's why we always say we are all Satoshi, because we are all carrying the message of Satoshi. We are all trying to change the world to become a better place because of a better finance system built on Bitcoin as the Bitcoin blockchain is the best technology out there that we invented in the last couple of decades, maybe even centuries. Because the moment that this was invented, we were able to disconnect money from the state. And that is the message of Bitcoin. Disconnect money from the state. That's the only hardcore message. Because the moment you disconnect money from the state and decentralize the money and make that money community driven, then you have a complete decentralized digital asset that everyone has access to, that everyone will be able to send and receive all over the world and that nobody has full control on. That is why Bitcoin started. It started as a peaceful revolution against those corrupt, fiat system. I will come back to this corrupt fiat system at the end of the video when I answer what a true Bitcoiner is. But I found the documentary really amusing to see how this journalist is thinking to find out who Satoshi is, searching for the real Satoshi, while it really doesn't matter. We are all Satoshi. Somebody made something very beautiful, he gave it to the world, it became completely decentralized and nobody will be able to stop it anymore. Even Satoshi cannot stop it. 
if he still has access to the 1 million bitcoins, like around 1 million, I think it's 920,000 bitcoins or something, if he still has access to them, yes, he could dump them on the market. But there will be many more players in the future that will be able to dump bitcoins onto the market. And there will be a shit of the people that also want to buy those dumped bitcoins. So I don't even think Satoshi still has access to those bitcoins. I think he made that as a backdoor, like, like something that he in the beginning needed to have to have a little bit of control. But the moment he saw Bitcoin taking off, I think he just burned his seed phrase. He just burned his access. He just burned everything that he had to possibly have access to those 980,000 Bitcoins. They are gone forever. Just like those other couple of mil millions Bitcoins are gone forever. I think it's around three to four million Bitcoins that are not accessible anymore. So yes, there is a 21 million Bitcoin cap, but four million already are gone. So there's only like 17 million Bitcoin left. And the last millions of Bitcoins will now be mined, of course, in the next 100 years. It will take till the year 2140 to 140, 2140 before the last Bitcoin will be mined. So that's another 100 years. A beautiful, beautiful moment for Bitcoin to step in as a new world reserve currency, as most of the result world reserve currencies, yes, they take around 100 to 120 years. That was exactly the time the dollar had now. Go dollar, bam, come in Bitcoin. Now, beautiful series, beautiful documentary. Go and watch it. It's very nice to see also how Bitcoin started, which people were involved at the beginning of Bitcoin. Also give amazing credits to other people. Also the hard fuck of Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash, etc. It's all in there, uh, but I want you to watch it. There is a lot of links everywhere that you can find uh, that show you uh, how you can watch it for free. And then I want you to tell me down below the video, who do you think that Satoshi Nakamoto is? Now let's quickly jump into the charts now to show you what is happening to Bitcoin today and what I expect for the next couple of days, weeks, months and years to come. The only thing you need to understand is every four years we are creating a new higher top and also a new higher bottom. So the new higher top will be there in 2025 and the new higher bottom will be there in 2027. The previous bottom was 16K, so everything higher than 16K is a higher bottom. The previous top was 74K, everything higher than 74K is a higher top. And that will happen between now and 2025 quarter four. So the end of 2025, we will see a bull market top of this cycle. 2026 will be again a year going down, 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 down. Ah, no, maybe we go up again. No, 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 we go down, 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 down. And then we bottom out somewhere in December 2026, January 2027, or maybe February 2027. That will somewhere be the bear market bottom again. Bam, we start buying in. Not disbelieving, but then starting to believe again, buying the bottom to go and have that beautiful run again all the way up in 2029. That is how Bitcoin moves long term every time higher highs higher lows so you should be still investing in bitcoin now because we are still in the beginning of this bull market and we will go to a top in 2025 maybe even the possibility to double your capital so empty your bank accounts empty those bank accounts with those shit coins buy bitcoin double your capital and if you want to put it back to your bank accounts you do so but my opinion bitcoin should be your core capital The inspirational quote for today, guys. I could not find an inspirational quote, so I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of people always ask me. Didi, what is a true Bitcoiner? Because is a, is a Bitcoiner that holds also Ethereum, is he a shitcoiner? Or is a Bitcoin that also holds Dogecoin, one of the first meme coins, that, that was really something cool among the first Bitcoiners, like, wow, this is also cool, like support it. Are you then a shitcoiner? So my answer to the question is very simple. True hardcore Bitcoiner, does not really exist anymore. Because then you should be, like us, fully all in Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency industry. And most of the people, also you guys that are watching my videos, and it's not bad, but let's be very honest. If we look into the mirror, most of the people still have a bank account. And those people with those bank accounts are calling those people that are supporting meme coins, NFTs, or Bitcoin, or Ethereum, or whatever other currency that is a cryptocurrency, they are calling them out as shitcoiners. Not realizing that you, the person that still has a bank account, is supporting the biggest shitcoin ever existed. Because let's be honest, 
you're always into let's read the white paper let's see if there's something be, uh, behind it let's see if there is a use case so what is behind the euro and the dollar this is the biggest shit coin ever invented It's the biggest scam multi-level marketing system ever invented it is being printed out of thin air nothing is backing it anymore there was a beautiful time that was being backed by gold but we let go of that since that let go of gold has became the biggest shit coin ever it's being printed out of thin air nothing is backing it just a few people they refer to themselves as central banks they are connected to the governments they think that they need to be in control and that is why they just print it and give it to you guys if you work hard enough so for all those people with a bank account to call all those people that have some ethereum or that have some dogecoin or that have some chain link or that have some whatever token it is to call them shitcoiner is really the most retarded thing i've ever heard because they are the owners and the supporters of the biggest shit coins out there which we call fiat currency so for me a true bitcoiner is all in crypto preferably all in bitcoin but it doesn't mean that for me a bitcoiner is not allowed to do other investments and if he is doing these investments in ethereum or chainlink or Polkadot or Solana or whatever cryptocurrency there is, that's all fine with me because I know he's doing those investments to multiply his Bitcoins at the end. He's trading Bitcoin as his core capital. I think that is the answer to what is a true Bitcoin. The person that treats Bitcoin as his core capital, not fiat shitcoins, not working your ass off for a boss to please receive some fiat shitcoins on your bank account. A true Bitcoin says, fuck off. If you don't pay me in Bitcoin, I won't work for you anymore. If I, as a company, can't receive Bitcoins, I won't run that company anymore. I will start something completely new to support the Bitcoin peaceful revolution to the fullest. Maybe not like us, to go all in, because that's crazy, but that's supporting Bitcoin to the fullest. Deleting your hamster wheel life, giving up your companies, giving up your income, giving up everything that you build in those 12 years of building up those companies, giving all that security, all those securities of, of everything, having everything in line, your house, your holiday house, your cars, your company income every month, giving all that up, just throwing it away to take all that and put it full all in Bitcoin, living an unbanked life, that is for me a hardcore Bitcoiner. And maybe a little bit too extreme. Yes, I can agree with that. But in the end, we did pretty well. And now that we are true Bitcoiners, we do invest in other cryptocurrencies. I don't care about it. Yes, I admit that. I invest in a lot of cryptocurrencies. And why? Because some cryptocurrencies might decentralize certain assets of the world better than Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin is for me the king. Bitcoin is going to replace a complete monetary system when it comes to fiat, gold, all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that our job is done. It means it's just the beginning of the decentralization of this world. There are still other projects that are trying to decentralize real estate, that are trying to decentralize notaries, that are trying to decentralize lawyers, that are trying to decentralize decision models, voting models. There are so many companies out there crypto companies that are trying to decentralize the world or do a contribution to decentralize the world that I need to invest in them. Because I believe in a peaceful anarchistic world that is completely decentralized and disconnected from central control like governments or central banks. So as a Bitcoiner, I think you are allowed to invest in decentralizing the world because the more the world will become decentralized the more power will be given to bitcoin because bitcoin will forever stay the king but the king needs to get liquidity out of that shitcoin world that whole fiat shitcoin world euros dollars and all the other fiat shitcoins that is where the liquidity is how do we get that liquidity into bitcoin maybe through a step in between and that step in between could be those shit coiners the fiat shit coiners investing in something they understand more than bitcoin in a company that is decentralizing real estate in a company that is building something else on the bitcoin or ethereum blockchain 
those shit coins, euros and dollars, all need to flow into Bitcoin at the end. But maybe they need a step in between. Maybe those people support football and they will take their fiat shit coins to invest in a beautiful project that's supporting football clubs on the blockchain. And then from there, when they make profits, they again allocate a little bit of their profits into Bitcoin because it's the king. It's the store of value of the 21st century. It's the gold of the 21st century. That is my honest opinion about what is a real Bitcoiner. A real Bitcoiner believes more in Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency than in fiat shitcoins. Let's be very honest. Look to yourself in the mirror. If you still hold a bank account with a shit of fiat currencies, you do not fully believe in Bitcoin. If you would really, really, really believe Bitcoin, you will not even bother to have fiat currencies in your bank account. You would just hold all your capital in Bitcoin because you know that one is growing every four years, at least if you really believe in Bitcoin. If you don't really believe in Bitcoin, then also look in that same mirror and tell yourself, nah, okay, I cannot say I'm a real Bitcoiner, doesn't matter, I'm a good investor, but I also believe those shitcoins still. Still, after whatever they did in the last decades, how poor they made with all the inflation, you still trust those fiat shitcoins. And that's all fine. We are not here to compete. I'm just here to tell you the truth. If you hold bank accounts with shitcoins, there is doubt in your heart mind about Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. And that's all fine with me. Please stay in that shitcoin world. Slowly you will evolve and understand the real power of Bitcoin. The moment you get too poor to understand, you will be abandoning finally that fiat shitcoin world into this Bitcoin world. And then we will be there with open arms receiving you. Yes, you were on the wrong path for a long time, believing those that already like fucked you up for years. And you kept believing them and you kept promising them and you kept supporting them. You kept pushing your money into those bank accounts while they were keeping you poor. And finally, you came to us and we will open the door and we will open your arms. Yes, welcome. Now you are becoming a real Bitcoiner. And if you want to invest as a real Bitcoin in any other cryptocurrency project that will decentralize the banks, that will decentralize anything else in the world, then please do so. As long as you understand, your core capital should be Bitcoin. Don't calculate in euros, don't calculate in dollars. Your core capital is Bitcoin. Sometimes, when you're in Thailand, you exchange a little bit of Bitcoin to Thai baht if the local people want to have Thai baht. But if you have Thai bahts left, bam, back to Bitcoin. Sometimes, if you want to invest in a company, you exchange a little bit of Bitcoin into Ethereum or Solana or Chainlink. And if you make profits, profits back into Bitcoin. That's a real Bitcoiner. Not someone that calculates, oh, what job can I do for 40 hours in a week to get a shitload of shit coins and keep most of the shit coins on the bank account and sometimes invest 10% of my capital into Bitcoin. And then have the avatar of a true Bitcoin maxi with laser eyes, etc., and all their profiles. That is not a true Bitcoin. A true Bitcoiner believes in Bitcoin. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this too long video again. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about uh, the news? What do you think about the charts? And what do you think about who is a true Bitcoiner? And who is Satoshi? Let me know down below.